Empty space pushes, not metaphorically, measurably. The vacuum isn't nothing. It has effects you can test in a lab. In quantum physics, even at the lowest possible energy, systems still wiggle. That leftover baseline is what people mean by zero-point energy. Here's the wild part. Put two uncharged metal plates extremely close, like nanometers apart, and a tiny force pulls them together. That's the Casimir effect. But notice the catch. It's only obvious at absurdly small distances. On human scales, it's basically invisible. So this is not a free energy machine. And it's not just plates. In hydrogen, scientists measured a tiny shift in energy levels, the Lamb shift. It was one of the big reality checks that quantum electrodynamics is describing something physically real. So yes, vacuum fluctuations are real in mainstream physics, but real doesn't automatically mean extractable like a battery. If someone claims a zero point generator, treat it as unproven. Now the cosmic punchline. If you do the simplest, naive estimate of vacuum energy with quantum field theory, you get a number that's about 10 to the 120 times bigger than what the universe seems to allow. That 10 to the power of 120 isn't a neat measurement. It depends on assumptions. But the mismatch is so huge it's been called one of physics' most embarrassing problems. Empty space pushes, but it won't power your house. If you love mind-bending science that actually holds up, subscribe.